Hi there, welcome to Hawkins Latest Property Tour. It's Phil here from the office. We're in Galley Common today, just off Ploughwheel Road in a small little spot, tucked away, small little cul de sac here, Crackenthorpe Way, lovely address, and an absolute beauty of a house to see. As you can see, the sun is right behind me, so it's, uh, it's actually pretty much a bang on south facing rear garden to this one. And as I said before, it's an absolute beauty of a house. It's modern, it's not very old here at all, um, but there's been so many improvements made to it from floorings and lightings. The garage has been converted to make sort of a um, utility area on the hall. You've still got some storage space then at the front of the house as well. Landscape rear garden as well. So it is an absolute cracker here. So let's um, pan the camera around and just show you exactly where we are. And then, then we'll dive inside to go and have a look through. So this is the front of the house as you can see you've got a driveway here for two or three cars you've got the lawn foreground and there's a tree maturing just there you can see there's a um, port there on the side for the electric charging point pathway carries on along the side as i said the garden's all been landscaped beautiful looking house lovely spot here tucked away the rest of the estate is far over that direction and then it just wiggles through to there and doesn't go anywhere um, you've got a the old black track path just there, which is the old disused railway line, which is very, very pleasant. There's walks there that take you right back towards Hartsill, um, Hartsill Hayes, the other end of Stockingford as well. So I'll we'll tell you a little bit more about that. Let's get in. Let's go and have a look. This is where we're going. Right, so the door is open. Let's get on through. As I said outside, just on the, the video tour, lots of improvements made to this house from flooring and decoration, like fittings and so on. Initially joins you straight away, you've got this flooring through, which is a Candine flooring. Very, very smart, that runs pretty much all the way through here, just bar the lounge. You've got some understair storage just there. And then a quick turn around here. All very smartly done, look really nice floor toilet obviously very very handy it's a family home here um, so that works very well there's been a change to this property so you've got the garage sort of originally as it was so that would have been 16 foot long you've got this then that's been converted all been done obviously through the council etc all signed off so this is the utility and this gives you the same units as that of the kitchen it's very well kitted out. Again, the boiler's there in this cupboard right in front here. So that does your heating your hot water system. You've got the tall larder cabinet. There's plumbing in here for the washing machine space for another tall fridge freezer, but there is an integrated one. The spec carries on again. You've got the flooring coming in, inset ceiling lighting it's through. So that's all very good. The Google Nest system is here for the heating system, as you can see just there. And it's lovely and warm in here. It is practically a south facing garden. It's literally a few degrees off. So that's all very nice. Lovely big lounge. You've got the bay window on the front. They've added the shutters. That's on some of the windows here. Very, very nicely done. And then you've got the double opening doors on the back or you can come through into here and back through. Depends how you want to set it up. Um, got a little, little person here in this house. So. It's been sort of changed and set up. You could have, you know, another sofa sort of set up there, a big telly on the screen, on the wall, if you wanted to go that. There's loads of options. When you stand here and you look across, it opens all the way into there and then all across through into the kitchen as well. The flooring carries on through. So it's versatile, it's flexible. Depends how you want to kit it out yourself. Kitchen's lovely, like a pale gray range of units, very smart. So. Tall fridge freezer in here, double oven, cupboards above and below, pull out, um, racking unit, five ring hub. The um, working surfaces, they're um, solid quartz. The bowl's obviously all integrated into here. There's a dishwasher in there as well. There's under counter lighting. All very, very nicely done, as you can see. So we'll head upstairs and then we'll come back down in, into the garden. Garden's all lovely as well so we'll just wiggle upstairs last few steps up here a nice spacious landing on on here as well um carries on all the way through and round you've got storage then on the right hand side you've got the loft obviously a nice big loft on on here as well the four bedrooms and the bathroom are obviously all off the landing you've got the big sort of window at the front 
The storage is very, very handy there. The main bedroom, that's on the back of the house. Lovely big room. You've got a feature wall all been set up just there. You can see the sun glaring through as it's coming across this way. This one has the ensuite, smart flooring, really nice sort of spec of house. You know, they've, they've done a, a lovely job. Taylor Wimpy built this one. And then you've got the double shower, so um, double width, but also the handheld and the rain head shower in there as well. And then we'll wiggle our way through. There's not much between bedroom two and three on here. Um, this one we've said is bedroom two. The other one is probably similar sort of size. Just a, um, we'll show you as we go, go through. Well, that's nice. And obviously you're at the back so you can see, you can see the garden from here. There's a lot of furniture in here, but it absolutely accommodates all of it. We'll just work our way across then to bedroom three. As I say, there's not much between them. Um, this one's got a recess there. It's probably about a foot, just over a foot, just recessed just up here, as you can see. It just sets that back a little bit, just there. It's a great read, look. <laughs> Fantastic. There we go. Bedroom four. He's, he's still a good size, has been used as a dressing room. So you've got triple wardrobe there, double wardrobe times two. They'll obviously go there if they're freestanding, but the laminate flooring in here, you've got the window then on the front as well. So then that just leaves the bathroom. We'll just work our way across here. Got the airing cupboard on the left-hand side, just here where the tank is. And then this is fully tiled around the bath, half tiled to the remaining walls. All very nicely kitted out. It really is lovely done. The flooring obviously as well, inset lighting. Is all in so let's get downstairs we'll show you the garden here we go then outside the sun is beautiful it's a lovely day today um there's a lot been done here obviously when you buy a new home you you get literally one maybe two courses of path patio um this has all been redone and changed very very smart the lawn's all been re-kitted out you've got the railway sleepers this carries on all the way up to the to the top of the house you're not particularly overlooked um, from the from the back we just work our way across here you've got sort of three or four similar size houses just to the side left hand side as you look at it now and just to show you which way we're actually pointing just so you can see so directly behind me south just there look really not far off true south at all pathway continues along the side at the front of the house obviously you've got the storage where the garage was con converted there is an electric charging point on there as well let's turn the camera around let's tell you a little bit more so there we go thanks for watching hope you'll agree with me number seven cracking thought way i love that address um it's a really really lovely home um fantastic family home to, to be honest they've made lots and lots of improvements here it starts at the front works its way through the hall with the floor in the lighting ends up outside here in the garden the decor is lovely you could literally just come and drop your, your furniture in here and um, settle it's very very quiet all you can hear at the minute is just the birds tweeting away and so on and our clients telling us that that is the case here um, they bought it here um, for the road links the amenities you've got a nursery just up the road there's the junior school there's actually a child minder on the estate which works very very well as well so that's all good Galley Common itself has got a couple of larger shops now. You've got the co-op down there. There's a coffee shop, a hairdresser's, chemist as well. Um, so that's all very good. And the road links obviously across then to um, sort of Ansley, Arley, uh, further afield out towards sort of Birmingham, Atherston, etc. are very, very easy because the road links are, are very good from, from this sort of side of town. So um, hopefully it's going to tick all the boxes for you and you'll perhaps think, you know, want to come and have a look here. The price is £375,000. It's just about to go to the market in the next 24, 48 hours. But if you want to have a look, pick up the phone, give us a call through. Let's get you booked in for a viewing on it. The sun has just come out. It's glaring through. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, 
so yeah let's let's get you in for a, for a viewing have a look online if you want to have a look there's a bit more detail the brochure the spec sheets the floor plans are on there the other photographs so you can have a real good look at everything that is on offer here and if there's anything we can help with anything we can answer do let us know and we'll try and um, point you in the right direction there so so thanks for watching don't forget keep subscribing to the youtube page there's a link down here in this button um to click click, click it get subscribed you'll see the new properties before they come to the market as well so thanks for watching take care